Hey everyone, in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how I tackle this flood car from start to finish. Now, it is going to be a pretty long video, so sit back and enjoy some popcorn for this transformation. So, some backstory on this RX. The customer did receive it as a gift from a family member. Now, they kept smelling a moldy mildew odor inside the car and they didn't know why, so they brought it in to us to diagnose. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I hear a concern like this, immediately what comes to mind is water damage. Ooh. They have a very distinct smell, so I knew what I was getting into when I got a big whiff opening the driver door. So after water testing the car for about two hours, I found that mainly the rear section of the car, where the bumper vents are and all the grommets and all the entry points inside the trunk, that's where it's leaking the most. So since the customer chose to let us clean the carpet instead of replacing it, I decided to take care of this part prior to resealing the rear end of the vehicle. And I know I'm about to get roasted by all the professional detailers, but hey, this is how we do it. And I've done five so far up to this point, so I haven't had one comeback yet. So in total, I believe this job paid a little bit over 20 hours, and that's for us to really strip out the interior, clean all the mats, and fix the leak. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, this vent right here had such a big gap to where it allowed all the water to kind of rush on in. So of course I took all the vents out, all the grommets that I could see and all the clips and push clips. I took it all out, added some seam sealer and silicone. Waited one full day, retested the water leak before I threw everything back together and that did the trick. With jobs like these, I take a lot of pride in my work and I try to make sure everything comes out perfect. And the service advisor asked for some before and after clips and showed it to the customer. They were very happy and that made me happy. So at the end of the day, I was very happy I was able to restore this car for them because maybe they hold a lot of sentimental value. 